He wrote extensively on philosophy, history, historiography, and aesthetics. He had a significant influence on Italian intellectuals, including Antonio Gramsci and Giovanni Gentile. He was the president of PEN International and a nominee for the Nobel Prize in Literature 16 times. His name is Benedetto Croci. Benedetto Croci, an influential figure in Italian intellectual circles, was a man of many talents. Born in 1866, he dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge, leaving an indelible mark on philosophy, history, historiography, and aesthetics. As a liberal thinker, Croce held a unique perspective, challenging both laissez-faire and free trade ideologies. Croce's intellectual prowess extended beyond his writings, as he actively engaged in politics. His commitment to democratic principles led to his significant involvement in the rebirth of Italian democracy. His contributions in this regard were widely recognized and celebrated, solidifying his legacy as a champion of freedom and progress. Not only did Croce leave a lasting impact on Italian society, but his influence reached beyond national borders. He served as the esteemed president of PN International, an association that brought together writers from around the world. His leadership from 1949 to 1952 showcased his dedication to nurturing and promoting literary and intellectual endeavors globally. Croce's intellectual achievements garnered international acclaim, earning him nominations for the Nobel Prize in Literature a remarkable 16 times. His contributions to the fields of philosophy and history were so significant that he was elected as an international member of prestigious institutions such as the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and the American Philosophical Society. Benedetto Croce's multifaceted persona, as a philosopher, historian, politician, and advocate for Italian democracy, shaped his legacy as an influential figure in both intellectual and political spheres. His ideas and writings continue to resonate with future generations, inspiring new thinkers to challenge conventional wisdom and strive for a better world. Benedetto Croce, a prominent Italian philosopher, was deeply influenced by the works of Hegel and other German idealists such as Schelling. He dedicated his life to developing a philosophical framework known as the philosophy of spirit, which he also referred to as absolute idealism or absolute historicism. Croce's philosophy aimed to reconcile the conflicts between empiricism and rationalism, offering a fresh perspective on the nature of reality. He called his approach immanentism, focusing on the lived human experience as it unfolds in specific places and times. According to Croce, the essence of reality lies in this immanent existence in concrete experience. At the core of Croce's philosophy lies aesthetics, which he placed as the foundation of his entire philosophical system. He believed that aesthetics, the study of beauty and artistic expression, provides profound insights into the human experience. For Croce, art captures the essence of our existence and offers a unique lens through which we can understand the world. Croce's emphasis on immanentism and aesthetics has profound implications for our daily lives. By recognizing the importance of our lived experiences and the beauty that surrounds us, we can cultivate a deeper appreciation for the present moment. Croce's philosophy encourages us to engage fully with our surroundings, embracing the richness of each unique experience. In a world that often prioritizes external achievements and material possessions, Croce's philosophy reminds us of the inherent value of our subjective experiences. By embracing immanentism and immersing ourselves in the beauty of the world, we can find fulfillment and meaning in the simple joys of life. Benedetto Croce, a prominent Italian philosopher, believed that the human mind can be divided into different domains, each with its own unique characteristics and purposes. According to Croce, these divisions include the theoretical, the practical, the aesthetic, the logical, the economic, and the ethical. By understanding these divisions, we can gain insight into the nature of our thinking and how it relates to our daily lives. Croce's first division is between the theoretical and the practical. The theoretical domain encompasses our contemplation of the world, and it is further divided into the aesthetic and the logical. The aesthetic aspect of the theoretical domain is driven by our appreciation of beauty and our understanding of intuitions and history. On the other hand, the logical aspect focuses on concepts and relations, seeking truth and logical coherence. Moving on to the practical domain, Croce identifies two important areas, economics and ethics. Here, economics refers to all utilitarian matters, encompassing our understanding of what is useful and beneficial. Ethics, on the other hand, is concerned with the moral dimension of our actions, guiding us towards what is good and morally right. Croce's division of the mind into these different domains is not only descriptive but also prescriptive. It offers a framework for understanding the logic of human thought and provides a basis for making epistemological claims and gaining confidence in our knowledge and understanding. By recognizing these divisions in our own thinking, we can navigate our daily lives with greater clarity and intention. 
we can appreciate the beauty around us, seek truth and logical coherence in our reasoning, make informed decisions based on what is useful and beneficial, and act in accordance with moral values and principles. As Benedetto Croce famously said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. His philosophy of spirit and its divisions of mind remind us that our thoughts and actions are interconnected, and by understanding and embracing this interconnectedness, we can lead more meaningful and fulfilling lives. Benedetto Croce, born in Pescaceroli, Italy, grew up in a strict Catholic environment but later developed a personal philosophy that challenged traditional religious beliefs. He believed that religion was simply a historical institution through which humanity expressed its creative strength. This philosophy would shape his thinking for the rest of his life. At the age of 16, Croce made the decision to leave Catholicism behind and explore his own spiritual path. In 1883, tragedy struck when an earthquake struck the village of Casamicciola, where Croce was vacationing with his family. The earthquake claimed the lives of his mother, father, and only sister, leaving Croce buried beneath the rubble. Miraculously, he survived but was deeply affected by the loss of his family. In the aftermath of the earthquake, Croce inherited his family's fortune, allowing him to live a life of relative leisure. He dedicated much of his time to philosophy, becoming an independent intellectual who wrote from his palazzo in Naples. Although he studied law at the University of Naples, he never graduated, instead immersing himself in the study of historical materialism. During the late 1890s, Croce's ideas gained recognition when they were publicized at the University of Rome by Professor Antonio Labriola. He embraced the developments in European socialist philosophy, finding inspiration in the works of figures like August Bebel, Friedrich Engels, and Karl Kautsky. Croce's intellectual pursuits also led him to the philosophy of John Battista Vico, a Neapolitan thinker known for his ideas about art and history. It was through his friendship with philosopher Giovanni Gentile that Croce was introduced to the works of Hegel. This encounter had a profound impact on Croce, culminating in the publication of his famous commentary on Hegel, titled, What is Living and What is Dead of the Philosophy of Hegel, in 1907. Benedetto Croce's philosophical journey, marked by his rejection of traditional religious beliefs and his exploration of historical materialism and Hegelian thought, continues to resonate today. His emphasis on the creative strength of humanity and the importance of individual spiritual paths offers valuable insights for navigating the complexities of daily life. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.